Hi, Big Ben with BTS Photography, bringing you another exciting st Strobus tutorial. Today we have returned to the basement after a six month hiatus due to an infestation of biological warfare. Uh, today we are going to be. <laughs> today uh, we started off with the two theme shoot. We've divided the studio into two backdrops. Uh, we have Amy Savannah here, who is an actress, musician, singer, writer. Do you write too? I do write a little bit. She writes a little bit too. <laughs> And uh, this is our second time working together on the still photography side. Mm -hmm. We've done several projects together uh, on the cinema side, including Lust of the Vampire Girls, our feature film, which should hopefully be coming out sometime. sometime. <laughs> <laughs> it's become, instead of giving a date, we're just saying sometime in the near future. So today we're gonna be doing a couple different setups. Uh, we've done some really nice high fashion uh, shots with a white background, which we'll decide in that. Helping us as always, our photographers, we are never that good without the help of our lovely hairstylists and makeup artists. Uh, any photographer that doesn't use a professional makeup artist and hairstylist, the pictures are not going to look good. Uh, when models try to do their own makeup, honestly, it just doesn't turn out well. Especially if you're using off-camera lighting because it tends to wash away the faces. Uh, HD Mac applications as well as other high-end uh, painterly brands are recommended. Uh, we have Denise Christensen with uh, DC Makeup, Hello. and we have Vanessa Rodriguez. <laughs> Rodriguez, who has done an awesome job on the hair today. Our first setup, uh, we're going with a simple beauty setup here uh, with a three light setup, which I can easily show you. For our key light, we have uh, an Ellen Crom Ranger Quadra on a 22 inch beauty dish. Uh, it is a silver beauty dish on the inside, and since we wanted to soften up the light a little bit, we've gone ahead and put the sock on that. Uh, we're aiming this at a 45 degree angle on the same axis as the camera onto the model. Since the beauty dish is offers a higher contrast light and has significantly more fall off, meaning the light is going to go from bright to dark real quick. So if you try shooting one of these with a full portrait, you'll very easily see that you know the top half of the torso is exposed right, the bottom half is going to be pretty dark. The light is going to fall off much faster than it would with your other traditional modifiers such as a large umbrella or even a soft uh, large softbox or brawly box. To counteract that and fill in some of these heavy shadows caused from there we're going with a clamshell approach we call it because these two modifiers represent of what a clamshell would look like. Uh, we've got a nice uh, just a nice little silver reflector here that we're just putting underneath underneath the model for our headshots or our close-ups and what's that doing is it is reflecting that light from the key light and just filling in some of those shadows under the neck. You want to just hold that, we'll demonstrate that real quick. And just film that Kyle and we'll just bounce that right in there. Perfect. And that simply just takes in some of the definition out of the chin. It's more flattering to your models. Now to add a little bit of a rim light, and because of Amy's gorgeous, healthy, shiny hair, we want to make it shine even more. Uh, we've gone ahead and added our second Ellen Crom Quadra uh, with a nice little strip box here at another 45 degree angle behind her, and that's just going to give her a nice separation light. Now as always with any type of white seamless background, you have to light your backdrop independently of your subject or your model. And to do, that day, to do that today, since we're not doing a full body shot, I don't need a bunch of lights lighting. I've simply clamped a nice SB25 Nikon, an old speed light, onto a Manfrotto clamp, hooked it up to a radio trigger, and just feathered that down onto the background, which in turn has given me a nice seamless keyed backdrop. So that's pretty much our lighting setup for this first one. Uh, we're going to keep shooting and... Uh, Hold the camera longer, Kyle. <laughs> hey, hey, hey.
For our second setup, we did our safe shots with the white seamless background and the beauty dish. Now we're going to do something that's really going to boggle your mind, something really creative and something that has more of the cinematic approach that I like to go for. Uh, basically, uh, follow me over. We flipped around the studio and Amy's waiting patiently. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a type of an ethereal theme or like a dream theme we, combined with the fashion pose we have here. We have a beautiful lady here and we've got these floating Chinese lanterns kind of just floating in the middle of nowhere and she has a book and she's kind of in a dream sequence or kind of doing a uh, you can see what's going on here it's kind of a cool thing so to get to the geek side of this uh, how we're lighting this uh, we're key lighting Amy again with the beauty dish uh, the 22 inch silver beauty dish we've kept the sock on it just to soften it up a little bit so it's not quite so harsh on her because it is silver on the inside and not white uh, to contrast that, to give her some separation from the background, we've done the same thing. We've kept the strip box here on the side. Uh, this is at a higher light ratio, or, or pardon me, a higher power than the beauty dish is. So if you're an Elecron Quadra person, you know that you have an asymmetrical power pack, meaning that one port gets 66%, the other port gets 33% of your total output watt seconds of power. Now, what we've done here is that I've put my A port, meaning the one that gets 66% of the watt seconds is going to my rim light because I want that to be brighter than I do my key light. So technically, since this is brighter, I could call this the key light, but honestly, and the efforts of light ratios being pretty close together, it's edgy, but not such a high light ratio that it's extremely contrast. We want this to be a little bit soft. Uh, I could still call my beauty dish the key light. Uh, the cool thing that we've done here is that, yeah, I could go and Photoshop and light these lanterns and post, but instead, uh, with some trusty six pound uh, fishing line, which hopefully will hold, uh, we've gone ahead and put some speed lights in there uh, with some CyberSync triggers, and that's simply giving us and lighting us our lanterns right, don't have to light them in post. May I, what, may I exploit them a little bit in post, brighten them up a little bit, maybe put some pixie dust around them? Perhaps we'll have to get there and see. I'm keeping, as far as my background here, I have built two, uh, two sets here. Basically, we call these stage flats in the industry or in the movie industry. If you've ever been on live stage, really simple to make. Uh, these are two four by eights that I've put together, clamped them together. I've got legs on the back with sandbags to make sure we're safe. Uh, as far as the color, I did a simple medium gray with kind of a faux background with some cracks and some texture there just to just to offset it a little bit. Uh, I haven't hung anything on this background because I'm probably going to be doing some, some different dust or some pixie dust or some textures that I will add in post to kind of give us that ethereal dreamscape that we're going for in the look. If you're curious on how to make stage flats, just go ahead and Google stage flats. You'll pull up tons of Bob Vila-ish videos showing you how to make them. Personally, I'm not a carpenter and I was able to make these. They cost me about 30 to 40 bucks a flat. And what's good is I can repaint these if I want to make a green screen out of them. I can do whatever I want with them. Uh, they can stack together. I can lean them against the wall. I can put them in the garage. I can move them anywhere I want, even here in this tiny basement studio. So uh, we'll get shooting. All right, so uh, we had a fun shoot. We did some magical stuff. Uh, first, we started off with some nice beauty shots with a white seamless mm. background. Beauty dish, we had the animal fur, well, the fake animal fur on for those of the PETA watchers out there. 
It wasn't fake. <laughs> it was. I told you I killed something right before I came. Did you not put two and two together? <laughs> I wonder. I always knew you were into tanning hides, but not that much. So we did that. Our first setup was the nice, simple background. Then we moved over here to uh, our set flats uh, with the glorious gray background. We floated some uh, Chinese lanterns. Uh, use them. There we go. Found at your local Hobby Lobby. Six pound test. Great for dental floss as well. <laughs> So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any other questions, shoot me an email, bigben at btsphotography.com. Uh, you can check me out at www.btsphotography.com. And again, we'd like to thank our lovely Amy Savannah, actress extraordinaire. She's met all the stars, and she uh, I don't think she's going to be here much longer. So uh, we're glad we got to shoot her again. So Amy, where can we learn more about you? Like, where do we go? Um, follow me on Twitter, please, at Amy underscore Savannah. And my website is www.amysavannah.com. Amysavannah.com. So, yeah. And is there any, what projects are you working on right now? Is there anything going on that you can, you know, oh, you're allowed man. to tell us about? Yeah. Um, I just actually landed a voiceover job on a new TV animation show that starts filming early next year. And um, I'm trying to think. Ireland next year in the summer, I'm shooting. I landed a supporting role with a huge actress and I'm so excited that I can't say her name. So, but big things happening, hopefully moving to Hollywood next summer, so, yeah. There you have it. <laughs> As for me, I'll be in the basement here in uh, Utah. Uh, Taking amazing photos. Doing what we do. <laughs> I'm Big Ben and uh, I bid you happy shooting. <laughs> Careful, it's beauty dishy. <laughs> you know why they call it a beauty dish? Because you're a beauty Because only dish. beautiful people eat out of it. <laughs> Okay. Hi, Big Ben with BTS Photography, bringing you another exciting Strobus tutorial. Today we have returned to the basement after a hiatus due to the biological, uh... That won't work. Uh... So... <laughs> there you are. <laughs>